-hmm. Yeah. Today's deep dive, we're going behind the scenes of something most of us never see the world of commercial laundry. Think like the big leagues, not just our laundry baskets at home. Exactly, yeah. We're talking industrial strength washers, those ironing machines bigger than my living room, the whole shebang. Absolutely. And our guide to this world. It's actually a website, CICUS. They're like the go-to company that equips all those massive laundry operations you find at, you know, like hotels, hospitals. Cruise ships, even. Cruise ships. Right. They've got it all. And I mean everything. You could need it for some kind of crazy laundry project. They've got it. I think it's safe to say if you can't find it on their website, it probably doesn't exist. Seriously. This website is like a, a laundry lover's dream come true. <laughs> there you go. But it really makes you think, right? Like, we take this whole clean clothes thing for granted. We toss dirty stuff in, close the lid, poof. Magic, right. Right. But behind the scenes, whole different ballgame. Absolutely. It's mind-boggling the scale of these operations. Yeah. Think about it. A hotel with hundreds of rooms, a thousand towels a day, easy. Oh, for sure. That's not just a bigger washing machine. It's a whole system. And that's what's so cool about this CICUS website. It just, like, throws open the doors on that complexity. Yeah. Just uh, clicking through their categories, it's like laundry science 101. You got your washing systems, your drying systems. Okay, that makes sense. Right, the basics. But then it gets wild. Ironer and feeder belts. Water and steam control systems. Like, who knew laundry got so specific? It's like anything else. You've got the everyday version, and then you've got the professional grade. Like, I can make a decent cup of coffee at home, but those baristas with their fancy machines whole other level totally and every little part like from the smallest valve to those massive dryer drums it's all got to work together right for sure and not just work but work efficiently be durable we're talking big machines big business oh yeah and a whole lot of science happening behind the scenes i bet you got that right speaking of science this ironer and feeder belts section whoa some of these product names sound like they belong in a sci-fi movie let's hear it what do you got okay buckle up CNC anodized billet GT spool roller. You tell me what that thing is. I mean, it sounds impressive. Right. <laughs> I'm kind of lost in the jargon here. GT spool roller. Is that even for laundry? Sounds like it's for a spaceship. Well, sometimes the simplest explanation is the best. Have you ever gotten those annoying creases on your pants after the dry cleaners? That's where your GT spool roller comes in. Wait, hold up. That little thing is keeping my pants crease free. Exactly. That GT likely stands for guide tape. It's a heat-resistant tape that guides the fabric through the ironing machine, so no more creases. And brown. And the spool part is just what the tape is wound around. So it's like a, a tiny hero behind the scenes making sure everything looks sharp. I'm starting to realize every detail matters in this world. Absolutely. That's the thing about commercial laundry. It's not just cleaning clothes. It's about doing it quickly, efficiently, and making it look effortless. And speaking of details, the materials these ironer belts come in, cotton, polyester, even no mechs, like firefighter suit material. You need something that can handle the heat, right? Cotton is great for everyday stuff. Polyester is tough. But for ironing, like fire hoses, got to go with the no mechs. Exactly. It's the superhero of ironing belts. This is incredible. Who knew there was so much like high tech stuff happening in the laundry room? It's all about using the right tool for the job, even when it comes to ironing. But, and speaking of the right tools, let's talk about these machines. I'm looking at the commercial laundry machines section now. And wow, the price tags on some of this stuff. Yeah, these aren't your grandma's washing machine. Seriously, some of these professional hand irons cost more than my first car. We're talking upwards of $13,000. $14,000. I guess when perfectly pressed tablecloths are on the line, got to break out the big bucks, right? It's all about perspective. For us, it's just an iron. For a hotel or restaurant, these machines, they're the heart of the operation. True, true. They can't exactly run out to the store if the iron breaks down in the middle of a big event. Exactly. Durability, efficiency, keeping downtime to a minimum. <laughs> that's what matters. It really makes you think about those, my dryer's broken complaints in a whole new light. Mm. Imagine a mountain of hotel sheets, and a busted dryer. Talk about a laundry nightmare. Speaking of keeping things running, I spotted something interesting. Continental air springs. Wait, are we putting air springs in laundry machines now? Uh-huh. Now that would be something. A washing machine with hydraulics. Right. Bouncing around the laundry room. Oh, okay, okay. Back to reality. Air springs are actually pretty ingenious, you know? Hmm. They're used in all kinds of heavy-duty applications, and it looks like commercial laundry made the list. 
Okay, so then what's the deal with air springs in laundry? Like, what do they actually do? Well, picture this: those industrial-sized dryers, those washing machines, especially during the spin cycle. We're yeah. talking about massive forces, vibrations. Yeah, okay, I get it. Air springs act like super-strength shock absorbers. They cushion those impacts, protect the machine, and I bet they make the whole operation a lot quieter, too. Uh, so it's like giving these workhorse machines a little spa treatment, keep them running smooth and quiet. There you go. It all circles back to efficiency, making things last longer. And let's be honest, a quieter laundry room is probably a happier laundry room. For sure. Happy workers, happy clothes. So we've got these amazing machines, the tech behind them. But what about keeping them running? It's got to be more than just wiping it down after use, right? Yeah. You're telling me you wouldn't skip oil changes on your car and expect it to run forever, right? These commercial machines need some serious TLC to keep up. Okay, so what are we talking about here? Like, if I've got a massive ironing press, what's the maintenance routine look like? Well, you're in luck. CICUS has a whole section just for this. Maintenance essentials. It's like a treasure trove of interesting stuff. Oh, yeah, I see it. Ironer performance wax. Wait a minute, are we waxing our ironing machines now? It's not about making it shiny, although I'm sure a gleaming iron is a thing of beauty. Okay, so if it's not about looks, what's the deal with the wax? Think about what those machines go through, heat, pressure, all day long. That performance wax helps reduce friction, prevents wear and tear, mm. maybe even fights off rust and corrosion. So it's like giving the iron a little suit of armor, protecting it from the daily grind. Exactly. We're talking about preventative care. A little maintenance now can prevent a major breakdown later. And when you're dealing with a hotel or a hospital, time is definitely money. A broken machine means a mountain of dirty laundry and a whole lot of stress. Absolutely. This isn't just a few loads of laundry piling up. We're talking about places that can't function without fresh linens every single day. It's a huge responsibility, actually. And suddenly, I have a whole new level of respect for the people behind the scenes who keep those machines humming. It really makes you think about those folks, huh? Yeah. I mean, we're sitting here talking about the machines and the tech. Right. Like, it's all automatic. But there are actual people who go to work every day and wrangle these laundry behemoths. Seriously. Imagine knowing the ins and outs of those massive systems. Troubleshooting on the fly, hitting deadlines. I bet they've got stories. Oh, I bet they do. It's a whole other side of this world we haven't even touched on. That's what I love about these deep dives, though. You start with something familiar like, oh, yeah, laundry. Everyone does laundry. Right. And then, bam, you pull back the curtain, and there's this whole hidden world of, like, expertise and specialized knowledge. It's humbling, isn't it? Totally. It makes you realize there's so much more to pretty much everything than meets the eye. Just got to know where to look. Well, I'd say this CICUS website has been a pretty incredible peek behind the curtain. 100%. And, hey, remember... Way back when, when we were talking about the supply chain for all this stuff? Oh, yeah. All those parts, the machines themselves. It's mind-boggling. Yep. Like, how does a massive ironing press even get from the factory to, like, a hotel laundry room on the other side of the world? Yep. There's a whole other deep dive waiting to happen right there. Absolutely. The logistics alone. But, hey, I feel like we've done our laundry duty for today. Uh-huh. I hear that. Well, to everyone listening, thanks for joining us on this surprisingly fascinating trip into the world of commercial laundry. I guarantee you'll never look at a hotel laundry basket the same way again. And until next time, keep those whites bright and your colors even brighter.